look at how all these mobile and connectivity-oriented semiconductor stocks were today. Skyworks, NXPI Semi, Corvo, Avago, the four horsemen of the semis, all making major strides, uh, powered by, in part by talk that Avago potentially merging with Broadcom, another chip giant. But let's not forget about integrated device technology. That's IDTI for you home gamers, the developer of low-power, high-performance chips for a host of niche markets like next-generation communications, infrastructure, high-performance computing, power management, clock timing. IDTI has been on a real roll, with the stock more than doubling since Greg Waters took over as CEO just in January 2014. And this was a really big day for the company that rang the opening bell. NASDAQ had an analyst meeting. Of course, stock hit a new multi-year high, most important. Now, we know that IDTI is doing well because the company reported a very strong quarter three weeks ago, a top line and bottom line beat of just incredible proportions, terrific growth, raised guidance, new $300 million buyback could gobble up roughly 9% of the company's market cap. Plus, a recent teardown of the Apple Watch, which I'm wearing, showed that the watch uses IDTI's wireless charging chip, something that, sadly, we can't really talk about or confirm because Apple likes to keep things secret. But we also just learned that a similar chip is built into LG's new flagship smartphone that we can talk about. This this stock has given us around a 15% return since we last spoke to the CEO in early February, much better than 3% for the S&P. I think it's got a lot more room to run. It's still cheaper than all the other stocks I mentioned. Let's check in with Greg Waters, the president and CEO of Integrated Device Technology, find out more about the analyst day and how about his company's prospects. Mr. Waters, welcome back to Mad Money. How Thank are you, sir? Jim, very good. Good to see Thank you. you. Good to see Congratulations. you. Congratulations. I mean, you're Thank part you. of this cohort. I know the other guys, they used to be they used to be cheaper than IDTI. Now they're yes. more expensive, but that's just because there's so much takeover talk. Mm-hmm. You have always said, listen, we're returning money to shareholders the right way. You're not out there to go buy big things. But you were giving us amazing statistics that I think if we explain them, people will know why you're doing so well. How many times are phones checked a day, and where do you play a role in that? 100 billion times a day, 14 times for every people, or maybe a couple of teenage and daughters. What, and how does that play into IDTI's business? Every time somebody touches the Internet, mobile or otherwise, it runs through a set of IDT chips. So if you look at all the infrastructure that makes the mobile Internet work, we're right. behind that technology. Google, uh, more video, video uploaded to, to YouTube every month than the three major TV networks have ever produced. You guys are mobile video. Yeah, and one of the big sleeper events in the market, we all know mobile video is a big deal. We've all right. seen it. But if you look at what that does to the infrastructure, the super highways of the Internet, if you will, it's being rebuilt. And it's being rebuilt with technologies like what we provide at well, IDT. And it seems like that you have this business that it, there, it was kind of almost windfall in that you figure out how to be able to handle the fire hose of, of, of memory. Yeah, super. Yeah, a great example. So memories have gotten faster, but not much faster. Right. Processors have gotten a lot faster, and now the industry can put, say, up to eight processors in a single chip. So right. just keeping up with the interconnect between processors, memory, and networks, nobody's really touched that space in a meaningful way. This is what right. we do. WhatsApp, uh, 50 billion times a day? I know. And that's you, too. It's you, too. It's us as well, right? So anyway, either think about it. We've got some visible products like wireless charging. People right. can see and understand. Right. We will. But basically, 90% plus of our business is in that stuff that nobody ever sees, which is really the superhighway of the mobile Internet. No, well, let's talk about wireless charging. I know Apple, they're very difficult. I try to get them to talk. They don't want to talk, they, and I understand that. But if you have a watch like this, mm-hmm. it has it tends to have an IDT part. Right. What does that part do? Well, no comment on the Apple Watch, but what right. we will say is that the whole mobile phenomena, in fact, even the ordinary household items like, you know, the IKEA lamp, uh, which was just announced, right. it's great to get rid of wires. Uh, it's cosmetically better. Right. It makes it waterproof. We think that this is the early inning, right, of a trend. Oh, you call it the second inning. Second inning, right, exactly. It, early it, adopters, we're in the growth phase. Now, what, I want people to understand this. Yeah. You're talking about the possibility that we are cordless. Yes. And that can happen. In a lot, in a lot of And you of guys are well ahead of everybody else in cordless. I'd say we're one of the very early movers. Right. And I think like anything, this is going to take a few years to really get uh, in the install base everywhere. But we do think there's just some fundamental uh, advantages of getting rid of wires for power and for everything else. Well, there was one chart in your analyst day that I thought was amazing. You just do some things which you're not sure. I mean, it's a little Google-like, but that's okay. Google's pretty busy. Well, you're inventing technologies, and you don't know whether they're going to take off. What are some that you think that you're inventing that maybe we all want them and we're not sure yet. We demonstrate a lot of the stuff we're inventing, again, makes that video highway and the yeah. internet go a lot faster. So if we can get HD video anywhere you go, anytime you want, uh, without uh, having to worry about recharging your phone, right. we're right in the middle of all that. Other things like wireless charging, we made a demo today, right, where you can charge your phone and through some other technology we brought on through a partner, you can upload or download an HD video, right? So there's just a very rich field of a lot of new stuff that will come out of this over the next part. And you're 4G. You're powering 4G, basically. 
obviously. On the infrastructure side, exactly. Right? Which We're means not in the that when I go to yeah. my ESPN to watch the last two minutes of every game that the uh, Phillies lose, I will be able to actually get it much faster? On the infrastructure side, every single 4G data call goes through IDT <laughs> chips. Every booyah that ever came into the show <laughs> over a 4G phone <laughs> runs through our chips. Well, I got to tell you, I mean, this is an amazing time. I've never seen it other than when Texas Instruments came, came public and, and National Semi. I've never seen anything like this, and you guys are at the heart of it. IDTI. This is not an expensive stock even after this run. That's Greg Waters, the President and CEO of Integrated Device Technology, IDTI. Go look at the deck from the analyst meeting. It'll wow you. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.